Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a bit of a disappointing video, unfortunately. If you recall, in my last video, I did a really excited unboxing. I was really excited. This cutie, the Felici Strap and Go, it's a brand new release, 2021, from Louis Vuitton. And if you watch that video, you could probably just hear the excitement oozing out of me. It was love at first sight. I saw this on the mannequin when I walked into the store and I bought it instantly. However, my sales associate there, who knows me quite well now, did kind of raise a few red flags and she asked would I really like this dangling piece because she knows that I like things very simple. She and I both said it probably would have been better if it was laying this way and maybe more attached versus hanging vertically or I should say horizontally kind of in a dangly manner. And then you guys know that I don't typically like brand names completely spelled out like this and just being so obvious but I thought you know what it kind of blends into this dark khaki color it's not a big deal so I kind of talked myself into this and even the khaki color it's not a typical color that I have in my wardrobe <sighs> unfortunately this is turning out to lust at first sight instead of love true love because there are a handful of reasons why I'm not able to make this work I had I've had this bag now for about a week and as much as I love all the features that I pointed out in my original unboxing video, there are also other features that are starting to drive me crazy. I've been sort of trying it on with different outfits at home and I can't make it work. So first let me show you. And by the way, I polled you guys on Instagram asking, you know, I bought this, I filmed an unboxing video, but I'm now honestly having second thoughts. Should I even bother uploading the original unboxing? And 99% of you on Instagram said yes, still show me. And then I followed up with another poll asking, would you like to see a follow-up video uh, with me talking about the features that I don't like and why I'm having second thoughts. And I asked that because there aren't a lot of reviews out there on this video. I only saw one other from a YouTuber and if I can find her again, I will link her down below in my description box. And it sounded like in that video, she too was having hesitations, like literally as she was filming, she did her mod shots and she said, it's not bad, is it? Like she wasn't sold. So let me just quickly show you. Um, other than the name being spelled out here and the color of this khaki not being really right for me By the way, I'm dressed super casual. I'm kind of washed out because the sunlight is really strong today I'm just wearing like a black cotton tee as you can see and literally black leggings underneath. So this is my Like lazy work from home outfit um, But let me just put this on Okay so I know this color looks kind of nice with my plant here. It's like very complimentary, but because I wear a lot of neutrals, I feel like, I don't know, maybe this would look good against a white tee, but I don't really like the black and the khaki. So this is the piece that's driving me insane the most. It's so annoying. So it just kind of flips around and dangles. And when I showed my husband the other day, he was like, it looks like you're wearing a military badge. like. I don't know where he comes up with these things. So that's how it looks. This part I still absolutely love. I have nothing bad to say about this part here. I think it's so adorable. And everything that I raved about in my original unboxing, I still feel like it's such a cutie, such a nice size for your essentials. But it's this. And then I thought, okay, I'm just gonna take it off. So I like it much better like this. But it does look like there's something missing here and then there's like, I don't know, there seems to be a lot of hardware in the front so it does look kind of, to me it looks a little bit masculine. Um, and then it's kind of like why did I pay the price for this bag if I'm going to start taking it apart and not really using it because I don't know what I would use this for. It's very thin. It's like an envelope style. So there's not much you can put in here. And I guess you can use it separately as an SLG, but then you've got this little dongle attached to it that can't come off. So I don't really like the idea of like pulling this apart to make it work for me. So I don't know. I think in my original unboxing at the end of the video, I asked, what do you guys think? And when I rewatched that video of myself, I was like, hmm, I don't really ask you guys, what do you think when I do an unboxing? I'm usually like, I'm so excited, look what I've got. And so maybe subconsciously I knew that I was having hesitations. So there it is. Anyway, I wanted to share this because, you know, I am not 
here to like unbox a million things. I'm here to share hopefully helpful information and reviews to help you make your decisions if you are you know, on the fence about a particular item. And again, because I didn't see a lot of reviews on this particular piece since it's so new, I thought if you are on the fence, just take those things into consideration. This piece in particular, um, I still love this part. So then I thought maybe I should just get the regular Felici, right? Which is several hundreds less in price. But I like this size. I like this small, compact, cutie size. But I'm not really loving that I paid extra for the fancy, you know, dangly piece and the strap. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you think I'm going crazy or if you understand what I'm saying about this kind of being a little bit of a nuisance. I guess that's why I never really gravitated towards the multi push up because it's even more complicated in my eyes. It's got more going on. And I now know like simple is the way to go for me. Um, here, let me take this off. This in itself, I mean, I tried everything. I was like, maybe I'll just use this. Okay, so let me put the strap away. I was like, let me, this is me talking to myself. I thought, let me just use this because I love this size and shape so much. I'm gonna use this with my Pochette Matisse monogram strap, or I'm gonna use this with my black wide cotton band strap that I got from Dress Up Your Purse, which I use on my Pochette Accessoire. I mean, and then I was like, oh, I'll put the gold chain on here. I mean, there's so many fun ways to play with this. But then again, my head goes back to, then why did I pay $16.20 for this stuff here? Like if it was just this, if this piece alone was on sale at Louis Vuitton for, I don't know, half the price, maybe like $600 to $800, definitely under $1,000 for this, yes, I would consider it. But this stuff here is just not my cup of tea, so why am I paying for this? Anyway, I'm sort of rambling now, but I just wanted to share this. I hope that it's helpful to some of you out there. Again, it's such a new release. Here's the inside. I shared a lot of the details in my unboxing video, including all the compartments, what fits. Um, I even measured it and did. Um, I weighed it as well. So if you're definitely interested in this bag, then go check that out and see if it'll work for you. But unfortunately for me, it just, it doesn't work. So I think I'm gonna have to send this back. My husband did say, aside from this, he really liked this as well. And I asked him, do you prefer this one or my pochette accessoire? And he said, hands down this one. I think he and I both like the really simple, structured, clean lines. And the pochette has more of like a pouchy, unstructured look, which I talked about in my original unboxing. So again, I wish I could just buy this. That would be Louis Vuitton if you're listening. Please <laughs> just make this available. It's so cute. All right, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer your questions down below. You can leave them in the comment section. If this video was helpful in any way, I know it probably wasn't fun, but if it was helpful and informative in any way, please give it a thumbs up so that I know it was at least worth making. And if you enjoy luxury goods and also mindful shopping when I can, okay, this was impulsive, but um, typically I try to be mindful. If you enjoy that type of content, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Okay, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.